Hello everybody. The purpose of this video is to explain quickly how to do what I call a super refined scan and also a bit on custom formations for your probes. Okay, in this system there are two signatures. One of them I've already scanned down. It's just a wormhole I think to write home about. But I'm going to demonstrate the super refined scan first. It's probably not as exciting as it sounds, I'm afraid. It's just a little technique that you might not be aware of when you first start scanning, but you may have to use. Okay, so say the signature, instead of being at 100%, it's at, I don't know, 95%, and you're already at 0.25 AU probes, which is as small as you can go. If you zoomed in right to the right as close as you can get, you've been scanning and it's still not getting to 100%. There's one thing which you can do here which may help you out, and that is moving your probes closer together. Now, the way you do that is holding Alt. That shows all your probes here. That's your, that's the position of all the probes in the formation. In order to do a super refined scan, you just drag them closer. Don't drag them too close immediately, because if the probes are uh, completely centered over the signature, then moving them too close together may cause the entire formation to be skewed away from the signature too much. Probably this much is about right, so you've got, it's kind of like a gigantic blob. And you would analyse that, and that would help you get the last bit of that signature. It's particularly handy if, like me, you've not got all your skills to five. There's just a few weak signatures which evade you even at 0.25 AU. Alright, so that's that sorted. The other part of the video is about custom formations. I'm going to show you a formation which I used pre-Odyssey, uh, called, well I called it cube formation. It did use six probes, but in Odyssey, seeing as all the formations have to have eight probes, as far as I know, I've um, altered it a little bit. I've already saved the formation, and called it ye olde cube, seeing as it's gone around dated now. Um, this is what it looks like. Okay, I will show you how to make this out of the pinpoint formation, should you want to. Uh, okay, just centre on the formation. Alt, Alt, so you can see all the probes, and just like with the super refined scan. And you grab hold of one of them, move it inwards. What we're trying to do here is get them all on pretty much the same point. This is because before Odyssey you had to launch all your probes one by one and they would all appear in the same point so you'd get like this a gigantic mass of probes all in the same point. Right, make sure the zoom is about to this amount of level so the sphere isn't too big this time. Hold shift. This will let you move one probe individually. Grab hold of one of the arrows. Make the arrows touch like that. Grab hold of another one. This is all holding shift. And another. And another. And do it for the top and the bottom. Top. And bottom. Right, um, with the original six cube formation that would be it, but there's two spare um, cubes, so let's move that out there, and that out there, and with custom formations you can have your probes different, different uh, scan ranges, so that's what I've done, just to give it a, a larger scan range and make it less likely to lose 
any signatures. And that's ye olde cube formation. You can uh, alter the size of it as you wish. I usually have it a bit like that so that the, um, the uh, surfaces of the spheres are crossing at the cubes. That was just my way of um, getting it to be nice and uniform. And in order to save that formation, you go over here to the scanning window, click on this, write in your name, and click save. And then you can just click on whatever you want. That's you'll be cube two if you can click on that. If you go to the menu, you can go to the original one, which of course looks the same. And it's probably better if I mess it up a bit. Yes, yeah, so you can delete them by going to the menu again, clicking on the X. I want to save this one as mess. So there we go. My current custom formation is now mess. To change that to ye olde cube, just go to the menu. I can go pinpoint ye olde cube change it back to mess, spread formation, and mess. Okay, there we go, that's basically how to make custom formations. I hope this has been informative, and thanks for watching.